which you guys got another video here for you. This is the only screen capture device you will ever need. Ava Media sent me a care package to take a look at. It's got a top in here and a welcome card, as you can see here, which is a very nice touch. Inside this box, there is a couple of capture cards and also a mouse mat, which we're going to be taking a look at one of the capture cards in more detail in this video. So as you can see, we've got the mouse mat here and a couple of capture cards, which I'm going to get out. And I'll show you uh, both of these because they do offer also external uh, capture devices as well. These are internal ones. One of them is the Ava Media Live Streamer Ultra HD, and the other one is the uh, Ava Media Live Gamer 4K 2.1. Now, we're going to be testing the Live Gamer 4K 2.1, but we'll take a quick look at the other one as well. So, if you're looking to capture any sort of gameplay from your PS5 or PS4 or Xbox uh, console, then you can use these capture cards on a PC to capture the uh, PlayStation or Xbox. You can even capture uh, your actual other PC. So you could have two PCs, one for streaming and one for capture. And you can see here, this is the Ava Media Live Gamer 4K 2.1. So let's take a look at the other model first. So you've got a nice little diagram on the box here to tell you exactly how to set this up when you plug it into your PC. Again, this is going into the actual computer itself, into the PCI Express slot. You can stick it in there, but here is your card. Pretty straightforward stuff. Just plug this into one of the three slots on your motherboard, and then you can use the in and out uh, HDMI ports on the back. And this is pretty much it. I'll show you how to set it up in a bit, but you get a cable in here. This is your HDMI cable as well, and you've also got your warranty card and your user manual in here for a quick setup. It's a plug in and play. Uh, sort of a deal it's pretty decent and uh, again the other one i'm going to get out quickly it's probably going to be exactly the same where we get a welcome card uh warranty card and probably user manual the actual card itself uh, and things like that so as you can see exactly the same but we're going to have a look at the actual card itself and we'll go into more detail on this card because this is the one we're going to be uh, installing and testing so this supports 4k 144 pass through at 4k 60 and uh, this is a decent capture card for anyone who wants to capture 4K content at 60 hertz, which is pretty decent. But you do have that 4K 144 uh, pass through. Also, what we have on this card, I've got it installed on this system here. It just slots in and screwing it down into uh, the actual case here. So make sure you do have enough room for one of these cards if you're going to buy the internal uh, type of card here. You can see it's in here. We do have an in and out port on the bottom, which is HDMI 2.1, which is nice to know. The card does support HDR, and if you are a Twitch streamer or any type of streamer, then a card like this is going to be very, very useful. So this is basically how it works. You're going to have your game console, or you're going to have your gaming laptop, and you want to capture that content. So output of a video signal will be sent uh, and intended to be captured from any of those devices, sent to a capture device in this case a PCI Express uh, card expansion card which is going in the computer they do other things like an, an external USB uh, capture device and this converts the signal into a format the computer can understand for recording this will then be sent obviously to where you'd have the uh, PCI Express card plugged into or the external USB capture device plugged into and this will then receive the incoming video data from the capture device and then encode it into a playable video file or live stream for your viewing and it's that simple so that's basically how it works i've got it all set up here as you can see we do have rgb on this one if you don't like rgb you can turn this off in the settings and just leave it off but if you want rgb you can customize it a bit in the settings i'm not going to go into that part in the video but let's head over to the uh, Ava Media website now and download all of the software and drivers that you will need to get this working correctly and make sure uh, you have full control of your recordings. So you can see here, this is the GC575 version and uh, we're going to be downloading the firmware update for it if there is one and we're going to be downloading all the other software and get this all updated. So it's important that you uh, update the firmware on your device and also install all of the software that you need to get it up and running correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and download all of this 
and get it installed onto the PC. Now, sometimes you may need to turn off HDCP uh, detection uh, on your uh, PlayStation and also on your uh, PC here on these settings. Once you do that, the pass through should work perfectly fine. If you're having trouble, that is getting it to connect like I did here, I had to turn it off. And that's exactly what I did, and it worked perfectly fine. So I'm going to allow this to go through. And what we'll do is we'll get this set up. You should see the software popping up here saying stream or record. And I'll show you that in a second. We will be recording uh, some content here. I'm not going to spend loads of time showing you loads of different games because one game will do exactly what all the others do. I'll just record a bit so you can see exactly how it works. So we're going to select the device, our live Gamer 4K 2.1. Microphone, if you want to record your voice while you're playing games, you can do. This is where you can change your format. So I'm going to leave this on uh, the custom setting here so I can change it. It's on H264. And I can also change this to 3440 by 1440 uh, on there. And I can have the refresh rate at 60. So you can change this to whatever you like here on your system, whether you want to do 1920 by 1080 or whether you want to do 4K recordings you can do so let me take you through some of the settings here you can see here inside the video and audio source you can change this to whatever you like here and also you can see disable hdcp in your ps5 or ps4 settings if you're still having problems and you can turn that off and you can see here hdcp detection is on so you can turn that on or off i'm going to turn it off because i did have issues we do have rgb control here and again third party light control software you can turn this off if you don't want to see any sort of rgb on the device going to settings here this is where you can check for updates for all of the software and hardware and stuff like that and get some device information and have some troubleshooting uh, tips and tricks on here as well so basically that is all of the software all set up here and ready to go so let me disable the HDCP here and refresh this and turn the PlayStation on to get a display on the screen here. So I'm going to turn it off on the actual PlayStation and on the software here. And we should be able to get some sort of display. Uh, and then we should be able to uh, record some games. So let's go ahead and do all that. And I'll show you the screen uh, once more, which is the recording screen, which is this one here. So I've got the software open. Let's take a look. There we go. So all we need to do now, as you can see, I have got display and I do have my PlayStation 5 uh, broadcasting straight through onto the capture software here, which means I could just hit record or take a screenshot and record and capture all of my gameplay on my PS5 or on an Xbox or any other device that you are trying to capture the gameplay of or screen of. It could be your PC that you want to, another PC you want to capture your BIOS or something like that. Or you want to capture your screen and you can see here the actual quality is really good now of course with the hdr support you're getting that immersive and vivid lifelike visuals which is really good that's being captured here and of course you'll notice it is silky smooth and that's due to the vrr support and that is your variable refresh rate that this card supports so you can say goodbye to screen tearing and stuttering and any sort of glitching that you're going to be seeing on the screen using other types of capture cards this playback is what you're seeing on the playstation or pc or xbox or whatever device you're capturing it really is a decent uh, capture card anyway i think that's going to be about it if you're interested in this i'll leave the links in the video description thanks for avia media for sending this out for review my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who are joined my youtube members group whether you're tier one tier two or tier three i really do appreciate the support i shall catch you in the very next video or i'll see you on the discord server for a chat have a lovely weekend and i'll catch you in the next one bye for now